And greetings, everyone. Welcome back to our little cybersecurity show we like to do here on the interwebs known as the YouTubes. Welcome. Yes, we are going to have some fun today because uh, we are going to take a look at something called Parrot Security, which is a pen testing operating system or pre-built uh, operating system that has a bunch of pen testing tools in it purposely for that very reason. And it's kind of like a, a Kali Linux. And as you remember, our last episode... Yeah, we kind of took a look at the new iteration of Kali, and I figured, you know what? I wonder what Parrot's doing these days. He's got anything good going on? I used to run the old Parrot back in the day. Let's see what's going on over there. And oddly enough, I also got a bunch of people going, hey, what about Parrot? What do you think about Parrot? Is Parrot a viable this, that, and the other? Okay. So I hear you loud and clear. Uh, let's jump into things, shall we? Get into the old computer screen. I am on... The download page for Parrot Security. Now, Parrot Security is the operating system that has all the pen testing tools. You say, well, I, is, is that what's up? You know, and of course, you can choose your desktop environment. We've got Mate. We've got um, KDE is the other. It's the KDE Plasma. So go with what you like. Go with what you know. Whatever makes you happy there. Uh, you can also try the virtual appliance, right? So you don't even have to install the thing. Just download it. Put it in your virtual virtualization platform of choice and go crazy. So that's kind of cool. But I, I, I am making sure to let you know that this is the security edition. And even the URL is parrotsec.org forward slash security dash edition. Right? That's where you want to go. I'm going to go back to the download page. And this is going to show you why I wanted to make sure I told you about that which is download Parrot 4.11.2. And you can see Get Home Edition, Get Security Edition, IoT, and Cloud uh, Appliances. So very similarly like Kali, except I don't think Kali has a Home Edition per se. Sounds like something you win in a game show, doesn't it? Yes, all the con today's contestants will receive a copy of Parrot Home Edition for their pen testing pleasure. But actually, if you look at their little blurb about it, it says Parrot Home Edition is a general purpose operating system with the typical Parrot look and feel. Okay. And this edition is designed for daily use. So as a question I get a lot, I want to, I want to kind of hunker down right there for a second. Let me go to myself. I get that, right? Do, sh I'm, I'm, I'm stumbling. I'm so beclimped about this. People say, can I run or should I run a pen testing operating system, a Kali, a Parrot, as a daily driver. Have you done that? Guess what? I have done that. It's not for me to do, right? I, I, it's just not my thing. And for the reasons being that that's not what I do every day, right? Yes, I do CTFs and I teach cybersecurity. So I do need access to Parrot or Kali or whatever tool that's I'm training or teaching about or explaining, but that doesn't mean I need that for my daily work, right? My daily work consists of doing Zoom meetings and being in Microsoft Teams and, you know, uh, spreadsheets and Mondays and all sorts of collaborative, you know, web-based, cloud-based services that help me, you know, make sure that my work is being done in a timely manner and that things are being filled out and that kind of stuff. You know, I also have to do demonstrations, so I got to make sure that the thing that I'm running allows me to do that in a in a really good way that has a nice workflow. You can see I'm actually running Windows, uh, Windows 10 on this laptop that we're using today that we're looking at this, and I'm just virtualizing Parrot. I virtualize Kali, and that's an easy way to go go for me. Now I'm not the biggest Windows fan, honestly, but it does well for doing this, like my YouTube channel. At work, I actually just switched to Linux Mint. And it does a good job of doing that. Uh, and maybe I'll I'll jump to that with this one. I don't know. Uh, right now, this is working fine. It doesn't give me too much of a hassle. And that's what it's all about. So if you do pen testing and you want to run Parrot as a daily driver, right? Maybe you grab the home edition and you slap in the tools you like and you go crazy. Or maybe you just go with the security edition, get all the bells and whistles, and that's fine for you. But you got to remember that these are meant to do a job. Any distro has kind of a focus. It's meant to try to reach a certain audience. So if that is you, cool. Run it as a daily driver, slap it on the metal, go crazy. 
If not, maybe virtualization or dual booting would be a better solution for you. So that's my take on whether or not you should run it as a daily driver. My two cents. All right, so Parrot tools can be manually installed and assembled, custom lightweight pen testing environment. So it's a custom, it's a lightweight. I like all that. If I wanted to run Parrot home, maybe that would be a really good experience for me. That's cool. And then I could, like I said, install the tools I want. But Parrot Security Edition is really what I care about because I want to do CTFs. I want to do pen testing. So I want the tools. I want to see the full-fledged amazing thing that Parrot can be. And of course, if you're running IoT Cloud and even virtual machines, you can find all that here. So there you go. Just kind of, a, 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 I don't know, some advice. Like I said, my two cents from just one guy on the internet. Raving like a madman, screaming in the darkness. You never know. I'm just going to go to the homepage here. So yeah, we're at 4.11.2, talking about the Parrot Project. Again, here it is talking about being lightweight, portable, and universal. I think it says it's very privacy-oriented. Yeah, so it's security, always updated, frequently released, hardening and sandboxing options. And where's that? I, I know it talks. They're very privacy-focused. Oh, there it is. A secure and hardened system ready to securely surf the web and privately communicate, plus many small or uh, many useful zero-knowledge services where encryption is done right. So, honestly... We've seen Kali say, hey, we want to be a, a, a an operating system that you can use as a daily driver, right? No longer logging in as root by default. I don't know how much they're putting into things like, like Parrot is here as far as privacy and zero turn. Be, be warned, there's pros and cons to this. They disable scripts. So if you go to a web page, there's a bunch of stuff that doesn't work. Uh, you got to enable things. You got to allow stuff. I think privacy badger or whatever it is is installed um but yeah so just be aware of that as you as you consider whether or not this will be your thing you use on a daily right all right that all said and done enough of that business there it is old parrot i've kind of bumped the fonts up a little bit here to try to make it very viewable for us but where do we want to go? Let's just kind of take a look at the layout really quickly. I've got my uh, drop-down menus up here. We've got applications, places, system, and then a link for the browser, a link for the terminal, and a link for a text editor called Pluma, which is not too bad whatsoever. Over here, date and time, networking stuff, whether or not your volume is turned on. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you have access to the different desktops. So if I open something like a terminal, and I can jump to another desktop. I can jump to another. There you go. I jump to another desktop, and now I'll see my terminal. I can jump back. I love this kind of the, the multiple desktop stuff. That's just the way to fly, right? So good stuff. There it is down there. I wonder if I can control alt like left and right. Yes. Yes, you can. So control alt left and right will let you easily swap between uh, your terminals. And down here we have a menu, which looks like it's the same as this menu, but just, right? Is that what it is? It looks very similar, but different. So this seems more like the super key, like the Windows style. If I'm looking for, you know, SQL map, right? I'm, I'm getting that very easily here, but I think you can still do that. No, you can't. This is just drop down menus. So if you want to type in what you want, you got the menu down in the bottom left. If you're just happy with the drop down menu and choosing it by category, Rock and roll. You've got options. Hey, I like options. Options make me happy. They're very good. Okay, where are we going here? Let's take a look at the different options that we do have. So we've got privacy, office, internet graphics, not internet graphics, but internet graphics, sound and video, games, pen testing, programming, system tools, system services, accessories, and universal access. Really what we care about are things like privacy. This is cool. You got an onsurf. You've got different cryptography like EncryptPad, GPA, ZuluCrypt. Nice. Uh, you got some a metadata cleaner. You've got a secure file deleter. So this is the, probably the, the big, yeah, I like this about Parrot. It comes with tons of stuff installed for everything that it attempts to do. It's just trying to give you every option you can possibly have. Comes with an office suite, uh, which is LibreOffice. 
good stuff there. I've used it. It works well. Uh, under the internet, we have an Electrum Bitcoin wallet. Well, look at us. Uh, of course, Firefox is there. Kingfisher for doing phishing campaigns. Uh, oh, links to web browser running in both graphics and text mode. That actually could come in handy. And then, of course, here's a bunch of stuff about Tor and BitTorrent. There's Onion Share and Onion Circuits, Ricochet, SSL and SSH, VNC Viewer. So good stuff there. Under graphics, just a few things. Only the ne- It looks like it's the necessary stuff. You've got an image viewer. You've got the GIMP. So if you need to do some image manipulation, a simple draw program. Uh, I don't know what Mate color selection is for. Uh, sound and video. I see VLC, so I'm happy. That's all I need. Uh, games. There's one game, Export, which is chess, I believe. And then the big daddy of them all, which is pen testing. This is what we're here for, right? Okay, great. You got all the other stuff. Wonderful. The pen testing tools. This is where it gets awesome, right? Because look at this. Boom. Most used tools right out of the gate. Great stuff. Information gathering. Look at all the tools. So many tools right here. Just just waiting to be used, right? Stuff. You might not even know those were installed in Kali because they don't really show in the dropdowns. You'd have to kind of dig around the system to see what's in there. Uh, we got vulnerability anas- uh, analysis with Cisco, fuzzing tools, open boss, stress testing, VoIP tools, you name it. Web app testing, right? Oh man, this is this is bread and butter right here. Uh, Joom scan, WP scan, WIG, PLE cost, web application proxy. So there's Burp Suite. Uh, there's Derb, Derbuster, GoBuster. Great stuff. Um, Cadaver, I've used that. Works great. Joomscan, Skipfish, Nick2. Excellent, right? There's Zap right there. There's Comics. Uh, there's Skipfish as well. So great stuff. Exploitation tools, payload generators. Here's Metasploit. Honestly, they, uh, it's not a pen testing operating system without that stuff. Password attacks, post exploitation. With things like PowerSploit, past the hash attacks are all in there, or the PTH toolkit. Um, there's Mimikatz. I'm sure we're going to have, there's Offcrack, SamDump2, John and Johnny, Hashcrack. Don't forget Fcrack Zip. That's a great tool, actually. Rainbow Crack is in there. Oh, this is not even leaving you without a witness, that's for sure. Medusa, Hydra, Ncrack, 161, Potato. Whew. Man, and the list goes on. Honestly, we could probably spend forever going through this stuff. So I, I'm actually super impressed. I, I really like what I see here. I think they've done a great job over at Parrot with building a really competitive operating system to Kali Linux. I'm just going to put that on the floor right there. Take it or leave it. You know, it's one man's opinion. So... That is what it is. But I like what I see, honestly. Maybe I would run or uh, like it better in KDE. Um, I could I could give it some more resources or something and, and try that version. But even with Mate here, it's, it's running pretty well. It looks nice enough. It's definitely got enough tools to keep me busy for forever. I'm not like searching for stuff or doing a bunch of installing of software right out of the gate. You know, we didn't even get into... All the other good stuff for programming and the different system tools that they have in here. Like there's Terminator is installed by default. Love it. It's one of the things I, there's HTOP, right? Great stuff. Gparted. Awesome. System services. Oh, this is so sweet. This is one of my favorite things. I've almost jumped over this. Easily start and stop system services that you need for beef. Different databases like, or the database, which it looks like it's, uh, Post uh, GraphSQL, Faraday, HTTP, which is Apache and Nginx, Metasploit, you got to start that up, OpenBaz, SSH. I don't know what Explico, Explico, Explico. I don't know that one. That's fun. I'll have to play with that. But there you go. Kind of a walk around the park here with uh, old Parrot. I like the background. I just want to show it one more time. Give you a look here. I just realized, you guys, I had a close-up on me the whole time. I was showing you down here in um, right here in the system tools and the system services. I was running through this list. I'm a crazy person. I didn't realize I left you guys. You're going to show me, show me. There it is. That's all. I was just kind of reading this to you. But a great operating system nonetheless. I like it a lot. 
I would highly recommend playing around with it if you are a CTF player, pen tester, ethical hacker, that kind of thing, even maybe some red teaming. you got cool stuff laying inside a parrot. That's my two cents on the matter. Um, uh, I don't know what more to say. I do appreciate everybody hanging out. I would definitely encourage you to jump down into the comment section and engage in conversation, right? I love talking to you guys. Like if you've got some experience with Parrot, tell us about your experience. Have you been running it as your daily driver? Hey, that sounds cool. What is that like? Does it give you any trouble? What are the pros and cons? What are your like pain points? What are the things you absolutely love? That's what the stuff I want to see. If you run Kali and you're like, Kali all the way. Kali is the way to go. Parrot's dumb. Cool. Put that in there. Let us know why you think Kali is better than this. If I had to put my, mm, that's a tough question, right? You got to answer that. Um, um, how would I answer that question? Do I think Kali is better than Parrot's? Mm. I'm going to say absolutely, positively, maybe. There's that, right? <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't run Parrot enough. I have run it in the past, but we're talking about like three or four years ago and Kali is different than that time. So I want to compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. So I would need to run this. Maybe I'll run it for a little while and really get some good uh, keyboard and mouse time with it and see if it is something I want to jump to because it very well may be. Uh, that said, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Again, please hit the subscribe button if you like what you saw and engage me in conversation down in those comment sections. Like and subscribe and ring the notification bell because you never know if that thing's going to work. <laughs> but yeah, you never know. I could, could do that very thing for you. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.